Now on to the Hydra. There are going to be Crystal Golem guys, which I could either let the Hydra take them out with its watery Hadoukens. That also runs the risk of me getting hit by them. Or I could just club them to death like that. Only takes like two hits. Oh, oh Hadoukens! He exploded into a million crystals. There's two down. Oh. How many more golems? I think only two. Or did he already take one out for me? I know that one will start chasing me if I get close enough. Most likely. Just leave me alone, golem. Alright, now this part could be tough. Yeah, there he comes. Damn. This might not end so well. Oh, no. Am I alive? Alright, all the golems are gone. And I'm probably on the verge of death, so... He can sometimes shoot those behind you and knock you into the water. One hit per head, though. The only ones I need to worry about are the ones that just kind of lunge straight for me and don't dive into the dirt. I'm going to roll as soon as... Am I alive? Get up! Get up! Get up! Yeah, there you go. That's a sport. How I, how's my health doing? Eh, I can't take another hit. Okay, here we go. Did I get two? Kind of looked like it. Get that one. Damn. Okay, well, at least I know where it goes. They tend to just hit the same spot over and over. Another bad thing about this software is that I can't really hear the game, except what's coming through my TV. And I can't play that very loud or it comes through the mic. Oh, hey, Hydra defeated. But what I was going to say is that um, there's a cue when they're going to do the lunch attack. It's kind of like a soft growl. So normally I'd listen for that. But no matter. We defeated the Hydra. No hurrah because it's not really a boss. Now we will go down here. Well, might be smarter to actually go to a bonfire first just in case this fight up here goes bad. So I think I'll do that. We haven't used many Homeward Bones in this playthrough yet. But either way here we would have had to kind of pause for a second because we want this orange golem to appear. And normally how I do it is I'll just run up to it and quit the game and reload and then when you pop back in it'll be there waiting for you. Or, I hope, going to bonfires like that will also reset it and make it spawn. If not, I'm going to have to quit as well, which, that's no fun. And at this point, I do like to have the rusted iron ring, which is a ring that lets you run at full speed on water. But, we can't get that. Well, can Yeah, I guess we could have. No, maybe not. I don't know. Either way, we don't have it. We'll just have to deal with this slow speed as we sludge through water. But all this is in service of actually getting to the downloadable content later on. Which I will probably do next time. I mean, next time being after I defeat Nido. The recording tonight seems to be going fine from what I can tell. I've been playing on the TV so I'm not really focused on the computer and the recording screen. But uh, I'm gonna hope that there hasn't been much stutter or frame loss. It doesn't really tell me on here. Imminent sorrow? For who? This guy? No, I'm not gonna be sad. I'm feeling great. Come on, Golem. Can't hide back here forever. 
He shouldn't take too many hits now that we've got Super Club. We're both pretty slow in this fight, too. So I guess it's more fair that I don't have that ring. Oh, really? Dead already? Where was the sorrow guy? Now we freed this lady. So, tis thou who rescueth me. Most gracious, I am deeply obliged. I am dust of Ulysseel. I come up from an age long before thine. I cannot stay here for long. So, before I disappear, allow me to ask one thing. My home, Ulysseel, is the home of ancient sorceries. My hope is to pass this profound knowledge to thee with thine approval. Would this be of assistance to thee? Yes, it would. My heartfelt thanks. I am pleased beyond Though not really. Then I shout. Engrave my signature. If thou art in need, pray summon me from my signature. Seems that my time is done. May the great flames guide thee. Then she disappears looking all confused. <laughs> okay. So now in the area where Seath the Scalus is. There's going to be another golem, and if we kill him, he will drop a broken pendant, at which point we can return here, and there will be a portal to the DLC area. So yeah, no hint of that at all when you actually buy the DLC. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I know I definitely had to look up how to do it, so I just wonder how many people bought that. I'm like, hey, I downloaded the DLC, why can't I play it? Interesting choice, making it that way, with no real hint about it. Starting to feel kinda, you know, optimistic about all this. We are fairly deep in the game now, and it's still going pretty well. Especially considering I'm level 1 and haven't been healing at all, other than bonfires. So yeah, starting to feel happy about this. Should have more than enough souls for what I need. Yeah, 81,000. I think I'm good. Not even your shield can protect you now. Though it is a pretty flimsy shield. I don't know what you were expecting from it. Damn, I like, killed him through the shield. That's how savage this club is. What's up, guy? What? Whoa! Oh, I attacked him. Shit. Why would I do such a foolish thing? Damn. Why did I hit you? <laughs> I think it's because he was like, I don't know, he insulted me, even though I bought stuff from him. Uh, oh well. I guess I can go up to the church and buy his forgiveness. It's a good excuse to show that off, at least. Back in here again. Feeling nostalgic of earlier times. This was actually the first time I died in this playthrough, wasn't it? Getting suddenly smacked by this gargoyle. But we've died so many more times since then. So we go up to this guy. He appears after we defeat the gargoyles. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the pod. Thou appearest to lack faith. Yet magnanimous are the gods. Cometh out to confess, or to accuse, for indeed all sins my domain. I need to apologize to that one guy. Here, just pay him 500 souls and make him sell me stuff again. So you can do this basically, um, with any NPC that you attack and they get pissed off at you. If thou a crime, oh, yeah? What if I do this? I'm gonna forgive this. Yeah, two twin humanities. Hey, are we cool? Yeah, we're cool. You forgot all about it, didn't you? Oh, there you are. Where have you been hiding? I guess you'd hop the twig for certain. Bah! Shows what I know. <laughs> Hopped the twig. That's interesting. Does that mean bribed because I smacked you earlier? We'll get that. We'll get that too. Might as well. We've got tons of souls and not much else to use them. Restock my arrows. 
Uh, repair powder. Sure. Throwing knives. Sure, 99. I'll take them. We can leave messages with that. I don't think I'll be using it, though. But we are here for... Of course, the Reinforced Club. And he has an infinite amount of them, so we'll buy two. Thank you. I'll make one divine, as I've said, and and I may make the other one a fire club. And with the divine ember that we got, and we will be able to make it a divine reinforced club. Good for smacking skeletons around. My, that's a rare ember you have there. I've seen one of those before. It's the ember of a divine blacksmith. Might you consider leaving that with me? Yeah, kind of... Kind of suspicious that I found it, huh? I didn't think anyone would find the body. How, how'd you get past my butterfly bodyguard? Well, thanks for that. Don't you report me to the cops, decision. please. I already got 17, too, so I, I was apparently thinking ahead. There we go. Should be able to get both of these up to plus five. Maybe. We'll see. It'll be close, at least. No, I'm actually... I need one more. That's fine. And now we can turn one into a divine club. And hopefully I'll be able to reinforce it twice more. Cool. That ought to be good enough. The skeletons I need to kill that with aren't too strong. So yeah, we are good to go. Oh wait, the gesture. Well. Wait a minute. I've already learned his gesture. I'll be seeing. Which one did he have? I don't already have the shrug, do I? No, I don't want to do that one again. Uh, no, he he taught me hurrah. Okay, I was wrong about Zeus. Zeus is completely fine. He prefers the way of the hurrah. He's not a kin slayer. He didn't murder all of his brothers. We didn't talk to these guys before, but you might have noticed that there was like a group of them. Oh, they're still here, actually. Which is kind of weird. We will see them down below as well. Hello there. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Teach me the ways of Shrug. And give me money. Oh man, I can't talk to him. Maybe later then. Oh, miracle. Oh, here we go. Nice. Come again. Nope, I've got what I came for. We can get rid of that because we're not going to use it. But here we go. Now, I was thinking if Zeus had that gesture, it would be like the cops coming to ask him, like, have you seen your brothers? Do you know anything about their weird disappearances? He's like, nah, man, I'm just blacksmith here. The only blacksmith in town, ha <laughs> ha. 